Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Pokemon Diamond. Alright, we are now in the point where it's considered post-game now. So, what we need to do, or what actually rather what we can do, is start catching some extra Pokemon. And there are many ways you can do that now, now that you have the National Dex. First things first, I think this is the house, but we gotta go to Hearth Home. Hiya! Been a long time! How's it going? Using the PC boxes? Oh, now looky here! That's a National Pokedex I'm seeing! Good for you! You'll be using my boxes like crazy if you're using that now! Well, I always thought a good trainer ought to juggle boxes smartly, though I shouldn't be the one to say so. Oh yeah! Do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Yeah! Here you go! Now you'd be good to it! You just get an Eevee. Alright, the Eevee that BB gave you. <laughs> Alright, well, I can think of a good name for it. I'll give it, it's called Scruffy. I might end up changing its name later when I decide what I'm going to evolve it to. And I'm leaning towards, like, Umbreon, because I like Umbreon. But I also like Glaceon. And the reason why I'm saying Glaceon, oh, it's level 5, by the way, is that I don't really have a reliable ice type. I'm definitely going to need to take in another Pokemon. Probably, like, a lower level one. Oh, I forgot I knew this Clefairy thick. Raises defense and special defense stats. Lucky champ, preventing crow of landing critical hits. Gravity is intense by five turns, making moves involving flying unusable and negating levitation. And I was holding a Lepa Berry. Do I have anything that can just inflict sleep easily? Because if I have that... I might have something that can be really helpful... ...with this, uh, next... ...opponent. Okay, Alet has... ...Aluete. <laughs> I forgot I named it that. It has Hypnosis! It was the user hit a ghost move with any type of move. Oh! If I use Foresight... Will it only work on the one that uses Foresight? Or will it just let any Pokémon hit it? Because if anything, if that works... What I'm going to do... Well, actually, I should deposit another Pokémon. I think Sephi can go. So I'm not going to be doing any surfing in this part. Chunky is cut, does he? Yes, I'll need someone with cut. I might have to, like, uh, deposit somebody else. Probably you. Because here's what I'm thinking. I'm probably gonna need at least one Pokémon with False Swipe. And I think I'll give it to Cheryl Crow, if she can learn it. There is a, a... I don't know if you can call it a Legendary, but it's a Pokémon called Rotom, and it's gonna be at a very low level. I'd like to be able to catch it without, you know, feigning it, of course. Oh, nobody can learn False Swipe? Really? You know what, this is still not a bad go at things. What I need to do as well, in order for this to work, I have to go to Eterna City. I'm not going to necessarily tackle, like, these extra events in any order. I still gotta go to Pal Park, too. And that's, I believe, south of Sanjem Town. I almost forgot where the gym was. 
So I think I need to go there to see Gardenia. Or maybe I can just go straight to Old Chateau. I don't remember. Let me see if she's over there. Nope, she's right here. Yep! If there's one thing I can tell you tell about you, it's this. You and your Pokemon are gonna get even tougher, and I mean seriously. Oh, I guess I can just go straight to Old Chateau. She's not telling me anything different. Look, it has been a while since I actually did this in my original Diamond run. Well, on my personal run, before... I think it was before I was Let's Playing. Maybe just like a little while before it. To be honest, I don't even remember. Oh wait, all of a sudden she's over here! What the hell? Hiya! Were you intrigued by the ru rumors going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about sinister shadows too. I should check it out myself, but going in there is... Well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. So, since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared. So, good luck with your investigation. Thanks. I really needed that. Okay, well, in that case, let me go get my repels ready. So, the old chateau is obviously over here. We have been in here before. Oh, I'm still getting encounters? Oh, that's because it's a level tie. I think that's what it is. I have to go to a certain room. Let me switch to you for now. I forget what room it is. Maybe it's not a room you sleep in. Maybe it's the TV. Yeah, I think it's the TV. Saving a lot of data, because man, that one Eevee is worth so much. Well, I suppose I can use Zack for flashing. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon? The Pokemon appears that it will come out. Wanna thump the TV? And then the music gets all weird. And there you go, there's Rotom. Seems I was only level 15. <laughs> Most of our Pokemon will end up wiping it out in one hit. So let's take a cautious approach. See what I tell you? That's as cautious as it gets. <laughs> its body is composed of plasma. It is known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreak havoc. Just like malware. <laughs> I can think of a good name for this Rotom. It's motor in reverse, by the way. Oh my god, they're gonna let me do this, aren't they? Scrotom. Yes. We have become 12 years old again. That's how you do it. That's the real fountain of youth. Alright, well, we're done with this quest. <laughs> That did not take long at all. Alright, now what else can I do? I mean... We can pretty much do this anywhere there's a TV. Or better yet... We can also... I don't want to go to Sand Gem Town. I meant to go to... I meant to go back to Twin Leaf. Because there's two different ways you can do this, by the way. One, you can look at any TV. Or, you can talk to your rival sister. Oh wait, maybe the sister is in Sand Gem. The 
this and listen, Bonga. Oh, no, no, you're not the sister. Duh, I should be going to the only house that has a mailbox. Yeah, I think his sister is in San Gem Town. Never mind. I went to the wrong place. Wait. I'm pretty sure there was a TV in here, was there? Where's about battling trainers, getting with chicken trainers, blah in right in the corner, blah blah blah. blah bongas badoof. Wow. I forgot about that photo. Isn't that the one with the turtwig mask? It's all the time you have today. A piece for world team galactic. Any friends of Pokemon with the Nintendo Wi-Fi Club? No. Different class, Hotel Grand Lake. Pokemon Memories of Las Celestias, Pokemon Daycare. I'm full of Pokemon at Pal Park. That reminds me, if you have a GBA game in your DS, that's how you get Pokemon in the Pal Park. Ribbon Syndicated. Visit the Stone Department Store. Merch. You'll, you'll get stuff about swarms, depending on what commercial you see. So I think you're better off just talking to the rival sister. At least they won't tell you about the daycare. At least it better not. You're gonna be over there instead of like home. Dawn's house. Oh, hi, Bonga! There's news on TV saying there's a massive outbreak of Pokemon! That'd be great for filling up your Pokedex! Let me see, what did that news say now? Route 222! They said there's a whole bunch of skinny there! Oh, wait, the rival is actually Dawn, not Cole. What? It's her rival, apparently. Alright, so I gotta go to Sunny Shore. So if it's in Sunny Shore, the levels are probably gonna be around 30-ish. Alright, let's be on the lookout. There's a good spot for grass. Good. Didn't get the attention of the cops. Here we go! Swarms, I think, last every 24 hours. And you're not always gonna find that specific Pokémon. Oh, it's gonna be in the 40s! We'll probably, like, do one or two swarms. Depending on the day I'm recording an episode. You can find some pretty good Pokemon in Swarms, too. I could be wrong, but I think Bagon is one of them as well, which is a Dragon-type that falls in the Salamence. Why can't I escape this Float Soul? Is it because of the speed? I think it's the speed. Alright, come on, Skitty. Come on, Skitty! Yeah! There we go. So that's how the swarms work. Oh, this skitty's a female. If it has something like a trat, we could be in a bit of trouble. It doesn't seem to have like a really low catch rate, so let's just use the quick ball now. There we go. Kind of level 40 skitty. That means I should probably evolve into Delcaddy after one level. It can't stop chasing itself from stop itself from chasing moving things. And it runs in a circle, chasing its own tail. Oh no. Well, I was gonna call it Garfield, and then I realized it's a female. So I'll just name it after the other female cat on that cartoon, Normal. 
Even though this kitty is not gray. Okay, if I remember correctly, I think there's another Pokemon you can go after. And it's just a little south of Veilstone City. So why don't we give that a try now? This one will actually be at a much higher level than um, the Rotom by a wide, 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 wide margin. So I might actually want my best Pokemon for this. Let's just go to move Pokemon. That'll actually be faster. Cheryl Crow can go over there. I'm going to take you to go over there. I'm going to take out you and replace with Chungus. So I might need the better HM Slay for this. So with that in mind, let's bring you back. Oh, there's Bell. Bell might be a little bit of a liability, considering the type of Pokemon we're going against. And I believe that Pokemon we're going against is Giratina. That one's level 70, so it'll be much harder to catch. By the grandest of scales, I'll say that much. So to get to Giratina, I believe we have to go this way. So expecting to run into some pretty tough Pokemon as well in that area. It should be over here at Spring Path. To send off Spring. Might as well take a peek to see what Pokemon are in this area. Oh, it's a barrel at level 54. So the levels are really high. In fact, I'm going to fight this one for the sole reason that my repels aren't going to work anyway. If the levels are this high. Ooh, damn, that crit I think was needed. Who knows, that might have been the highest level, though. Wait, Chungus has Rock Climb, right? I think it does. Well, I kind of don't need a Noctowl if I have a Hoot Hoot. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a constant level tie. So it looks like where I need to go is on the other side of this. Hey, it's an old friend. Also level 54. Maybe if I hit level 55, I'll just not see any more Pokemon here ever again. Unless I want to. Well, that, that's not going to do you any favors, but thanks. I think I might be able to catch Giratina in this episode, too. Let's see if that'll happen on the first try. If not, I'll just reload the save and try again. So it won't be a complete write-off. I think I will take out that Noctowl. 
Getting myself to level 55 could really help. Unless whatever is in that cave is higher level than that. Wow, it survived. I guess I'll just use a regular spark. Thank god that wasn't a crit. I would have been so mad. For like, two seconds. <laughs> I believe you can only access this place after you beat the game, by the way. Past three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. Oh, do I have anyone but Defog? Uh oh, I don't think I do. Uh, who in my current party can learn Defog? Bruce can learn it. We'll put it on you for now, and then we'll remove it later. Like, we'll go to Canalave to remove Defog, then we go back to Pastoria to reapply Poison Fang. So let's go. Turnback Cave is the name of the place, by the way. Now, despite what you're seeing here, you can probably just go north constantly. So that's what I would recommend. Just keep going up. And don't turn around. There's lots of rocks that will get in your way, though. So if you got someone with Rock Smash, you're golden. I guess that's Rock Smash, right? Yes! Yeah, I think I'll just use Rock Smash rather than just walk all the way. It'll make me burn through the Repel faster. One, eight. Those coordinates? Oh god, that you still run into Pokemon here. He has a Bronzong. Level 56. How about no? I'm gonna pass. That better not be the same Bronzong. Okay, you know what? It's a Golbat. I can beat it up. Fifty-six might be the lowest level here, though. And that'd be weird, because then I would have gotten into more fights. Okay, you should f easily fall prey to Thunderbolt. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Yes, you do. Good. Something about with three pillars? Oh, there's a haunter in here as well. Alright, this is gonna get annoying constantly having fights. Dream Eater? I'm awake! Don't I have a Pokemon at a higher level than Zack? No, I don't. Oh. I was thinking, oh, I could have used this. 2, 12. It did say three pillars. There's also something about 30. 
past two of them now. So it looks like I'm almost there. They call this place Turn Back Cave, but the goal is not to turn back. I've already done enough turning back when uh, Daylight Savings Time ended. 316! <laughs> turn Back Cave says, I just uh, max repelled your ass. Oh, here we go! That's what we're looking for. That there is Giratina. I believe that's how you pronounce it right, and if it's not, I don't care. <laughs> I remember when I first played Pokemon Diamond, this Pokemon was a bitch to catch. Jean? The Giratina is also the mascot of Pokemon Platinum. It had a different form. Yeah, I'm well under leveled. Plus, it has pressure. I don't think the quick ball is gonna work on the first try. I will, I will say that much. I don't think it's gonna work. See what I tell ya. Oh, it vanished! Okay, I don't know what it's gonna do, and I don't know how much it's gonna hurt. Shadow Force. Oh yeah, that definitely did a number. Oh, it has Earth Power too? Are you serious? Okay, that's going to be a serious problem. I could use Salad. I think I'll just soften it up. Giga Drain's probably going to... Are you kidding me? Can I just do anything on you? Shadow Force, I believe, is special, right? Because if it's physical, Curse can resist it. Wow! Okay! Just got totally annihilated in one hit. What are your moves again that can help? Maybe Yawn. But it's going to use Shadow Force again, guaranteed. Watch. What I tell ya? <laughs> it's not going to let me do anything against it. My only chance is to like use Zack and try to get some max flashing. Oh, that's gonna be a one-shotter right there, for sure. You know what, I could've just switched the Chungus and it'd be useless. Cause it's part normal. That could work, but it'd be a bit of a waste. How many Shadow Forces would it have? Is that a move that only has 5 PP? Man, that's too crit to use that one move. How many times did it use it? Like, four times? Five times? Well, I guess it has more uses. 
All right, let me get at least one flash on you. Even if it's only one. No! No! <laughs> no! Can't get one! Can't get one! Oh my god, this is annoying. I'm gonna lose all my Pokemon without even hitting it once. Let me try to slow it down. If it hits itself, I can get my, get myself back in the game. Okay, you're still confused because you use that on me. Alright, I'll just dump all my revives down. Are you seriously? You guys are gonna keep using Earth Power on me? Are you out of your mind? I think he just ran out of uh, Shadow Force. But wouldn't I have two other moves? What is going on? Okay, that's Slash. Slash is just a regular physical move. Wait, what does Defog do again? Reduces the foe's evasion stat. Okay, that just makes moves hit easier. It's not really that good. I didn't expect Cross Poison to do much. I wanted to whittle it down just a little. Oh, it has heal block. Alright, can we go back to Zack and not get hit by Earth Power? Please tell me it didn't hard read me. It's probably gonna snap out of confusion at any moment. What'd I tell ya? Oh, but it used Slash! Alright, now let's start by lowering its accuracy big time. So we're just gonna make this a bit of a slow burn. Hits with Earth Power anyway, of course. My luck. Does Earth Power never miss? So I'm a bit surprised that connected regardless. How many max revives do I have? You know, I might as well use one. I think that would be the best thing to do. Let me use another Confuse right before I switch back to the Zack attack. The worst thing that can happen is that Giratina beats itself up with Struggle. Or I even run out of balls. Earth Power, I think, is special, isn't it? I mean, I lowered its attack multiple times. It shouldn't keep, like, uh, one-shotting Zack with Earth Power. Unless it somehow does. <laughs> Slash has plenty of PP, so I won't run into struggle anytime soon. I 
think that's pretty good now. Let me just use a regular spark. Wow, it hit anyway! Oh, screw me, I guess! I didn't expect Spark to do much, but I don't want to do too much. I got to paralyze, though. So its attack is lowered. It has really low accuracy. And it's paralyzed. Wow, it just hasn't missed with Slash. Oh, I could lower its accuracy more. That's gotta be six stages now, is it? I know Crunch would do more damage, but I don't want to do too much. It's still hit with Earth Power! Maybe it is perfect accuracy for a move. Piss off, dog. You just can't give Zack a break. If it's Bruce, I gotta take this one. I know it's still in yellow, but maybe a Dust Ball could be lucky for me. Or not, okay. I can't poison it because it's already paralyzed. So I can get away with this. I'll keep doing that until it gets in the red. Well, you, you miss Bruce. But I think you've hit Zack with every single attack that was offensive. One more, and it better not be a crit. Okay, it's in red. So now's the time to start catching it. Oh, that music really drones on after a while. It really does. Ugh, got one shake on it. So it's pretty much neutered. Now all we can do is just throw and pray. I really like the design on Giratina's neck. It almost looks like golden claws just wrapped around its neck. One shake on a dust ball, and then it just breaks out. Actually, let me try Ultra Ball this time. Same results. It's too bad you can't actually heal your opponents. If I could just throw a potion to Giratina, then I could just increase the time I have to catch it. God, I forget what Pokemon it was in my Emerald Let's Play that was a pain in the ass to catch. Kyogre or Groudon? One I was able to get in maybe a little while, but then one took multiple tries. I can't remember what one it was. Oh, now I'm getting zero shakes. Come on, RNG Bis. You gotta hook me up. This was a long battle, so maybe a timer ball? Good. The more it's paralyzed, the less it's going to get into struggle territory. We'll go back to Dust Balls. Oh, 
Okay, that was not an endeavor that worked out in my favor. Please, just get in the ball. Just get in the ball and stay in the ball. I'm begging ya. Don't make me beg. I mean, don't make me beg any more than I'm already doing. Oh, don't do this to me. Still got Earth powers left. I mean, that's good. Yes! Oh, I thought this was gonna be a 50 minute ordeal. Well, we got it. A Pokemon that is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours. It appears in an ancient cemetery. Oh, what would be a good name for this Pokemon? I mean, it does look like a Lionel from Zelda, to some degree. So I want to go hard on this name. After going through so much trouble. There's gonna be some Simpsons fans that'll get that reference right away. And because I mentioned Simpsons, it'll be like, oh yeah, well that's a dead giveaway right there. We have endured heavy casualties. Wait, why won't this work? This is... That where life sparkles. That where life has faded. A place where two worlds overlap. I hope I don't have to walk the whole way. Uh... Could I just leave automatically if I go down? I don't know. I hope I can. Oh, wait a minute. What if we go down here? Yeah, because I turned back. I'm back where I started. Whew! Okay, we got the hell out of here. That was an experience. And I'm surprised I did that on the first try. I expected to need a second one. Alright, well going to Cantalave is a good idea because I need to get Defog off Bruce. It's just gonna take up wasted space. And you know what, I'll probably take care of that in the next episode, or even before the next episode. Because that seems a little unnecessary. That said, one of the other legendaries we can go after involves going here, in Canalave City. So let me stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll go and uh, deal with that. See everyone, thanks for watching.